Okay, this is my aquaponic setup. About, I don't know, a month and a half after I first had it going. Initial startup uh, cost me about $100 to build. Uh, as of right now, I've got some red cabbages, some Napa cabbages. Uh, in the back there, those are broccoli. Um, these are carrots coming up here and a couple of tomato plants this little one over here is not doing as well um, this here that's that's a biofilter I've got set up I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet um, but it, it does its job it's just kind of an eyesore um, basically um, I pump my water from my fish fish tank and originally I didn't have a sump pump, I just had the tank. But these are my fish. I've got seven goldfish, uh, one koi, and one pleco. And the pleco likes to stay in that little pot there. Um, and basically, um, it runs out of the side here, which I'm having some issues with uh, some leaking. Not a big deal, but... Uh, just a drip here and there. But it comes down this pipe. See, that's the water level there. And especially when it dumps. This is my sump tank where I have a swirl filter, which is made out of, you know, uh, one of those big containers that you get like pretzels or cheese balls in. And that catches all of the poop and the uneaten food and then it it swirls in swirling motion and then goes back into the standpipe down into a sump tank and this is where my pump is which pumps back up here into my biofilter which is also works like a swirl filter um, and I've got like a, a Brillo pad type thing with bacteria growing on it. And then basically, it's about to siphon dump, so I kind of timed this right. So the water level fills up in here, goes into my siphon, my bell siphon, and dumps back to the fish. And there it is. And of course, as the water level fills, um, it drains back out to the swirl filter. So it's actually pulling the water from the bottom where all the poop and stuff collects and sends it to the swirl filter. When it dumps, it does overflow, but I'm okay with that because I'm running it a little close to the top here. Um, and I definitely don't want it to overflow because it's running so close. But anyway, that's my setup.